Jonah, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof. in the ship! Does this mean, O oh sleeper? Wake up and pray to the Lord your God, so he would hear you and that we might not die. Come, let us cast lots, so we can know who caused this evil to come upon the ship. So tell us, for who caused this to fall on us? What is your occupation? And from whence camest thou? What is your country? I am a Hebrew. I fear the Lord, the God who made the sea and dry land, and I have fled from him. Why have you done this to us? What shall we do to you that the sea may be calm? Take me! Cast me into the sea!
belly of the fish three days and three nights. I cried by reason of my affliction, and he heard me. I cried out of the belly of hell, and you heard my cry. For you have cast me in the midst of the deep seas, and the flood compassed me about. All your bellows and waves passed over me. And I said, I am cast out of your sight. Yet I will look again at your holy temple. The waters compassed me around even to the soul. The weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the bottom of the mountains. The earth with her boughs was about me forever. Yet you have brought me out of corruption, O Lord. When my soul fainted in me and I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came unto your holy temple, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto you with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that which I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go into Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went into Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. of Nineveh, in forty days the city shall be destroyed by the hand of the Almighty God. So you need to repent of all your sins and be forgiven. A prophet has said that our city will be destroyed in forty days and that we need to repent of our sins.
Thus saith the king, Let not man or beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and cry mightily unto God. Let them all turn from their evil and violent ways. Who can tell if God will turn away from his fierce anger that we may not die? And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, and he was very angry, 